Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. Okay, so why don't I, sh before I even give you the title, why don't I give you the word of the day? Hmm. The word of the day is, we all love to eat. We all have our favorite foods. We all remember the dishes that we love from childhood. Well, okay. So why don't you do yourself a favor? Thanksgiving is coming up. Why don't you get your recipes together now? Or if you want to uh, follow some of my recipes that I'm making for you for, grandma, for Thanksgiving, which I've already started, Get that together now so that you know what video you want to watch so that you can duplicate it. Or if you need grandma's recipe, call her up and get it so you can duplicate it. And just really go back in time this Thanksgiving and show your family all of your favorites. Because everybody has some favorite dishes, some favorite meals that they want to pass on generation to generation. Now that's the word of the day. Get your Thanksgiving recipes in order now. Or follow Grandma Ray's recipes now so that you can have it down pat in your head. You know what you need to buy and you can uh, go ahead and impress the family. That's the word of the day. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make Rotini, I have wheat rotini and rotini primavera. The two I mix together, okay? And so we're going to call this rotini mac and cheese. <laughs> Although we're not using elbow macaroni, we're going to be using the rotini. Okay? All right, let's do it. And the purpose of me mixing the two, the wheat and the primavera, is to cut back on the weight. This is a weight reduction mac and cheese. Why not? Okay. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Let's do it. Okay. So I use one and a half cups of the Rotini Primavera, one and a half cups, and one and a half cups of the wheat Rotini. Okay, and I already cooked the pasta together, and it's right here. I cooked it and uh, ran cold water on it until it cooled down, and now we're ready to go. All right. Adjust my light. Okay. So I have here everything that I want to add to it. So I'm going to start with the black pepper. Adobo light. I have some sour cream. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, four tablespoons, okay we're going to call it five tablespoons, just cleaning this out, five tablespoons of sour cream. 
I have two packages of stevia, which is a sugar substitute. I have two packages. You can use, which equals two tablespoons. You can use any sugar you like, whether you want regular, another type of substitute, maybe you want honey, that's up to you. Okay, so we have the sugar in there. Okay, now I want to mix in the sour cream. This is for your Thanksgiving meal. Yes, it is. You know, you got to have the mac and cheese. A lot of people are trying to watch their calories and weight. That's why I mix with the rotini with the wheat rotini to cut down on the pot, the uh, pasta, the, not pasta, cut down on the white pasta. Okay? Okay. So now I have heavy cream. One cup of heavy cream. Okay, now I want to mix that in. Okay, now I have some grated cheese blend. I'm adding one. I'm sorry, let me show you. Grated cheese blend, or you can use Parmesan cheese. It's one heaping tablespoon. Two heaping tablespoons of grated blend cheese. Okay, I'm going to mix that in. The grated blend cheese will help thicken it. Okay, and I have one, two, three, about four and a half slices of American cheese. I'm going to take that and break it up in here. Okay, mix that in. Okay. And I have some Mexican blend cheese here. This was uh, two packages. I don't know if I'm going to use two or not. Let's see. What you want to do is you, that's two handful, three handful, four handful. 
you want to mix it in so you can actually see the cheese. If you can't see the cheese, then you need to add more. That's how I determine how much cheese I need to add. Now you know when you make mac and cheese, you can add whatever kind of cheese you like. Don't have to be a specific kind. Okay, I can see the cheese a little bit. And it's getting thicker. You see that? That's what the cream cheese does. It will thicken this up. Okay, I'm going to add some more. And you want to save some cheese to put on the, the top. Or you can use uh, red crumbs. Oh, that's looking really, really good. Okay, now I'm going to add some olive oil in the bottom of this pan that I'm going to use. And I'm going to take this towel and spread the olive oil around on all the sides and bottom. Like so. Now I'm going to put the rotini mac and cheese in here. That's what we're looking like so far. Okay, so now I'm going to give you in, let you in on a secret. This is a half a stick of butter. And what makes my uh, rotini mac and cheese out stand out is the butter. So what I do is I slice up slices and I cut it the other way so I have pieces. And I take the butter and I stick it in here and there like so. Okay, what that does is the butter will melt and run through there and give that a nice flavor. And also it helps the mac and cheese not to be all matted into one. So that's my secret. And you are going to love it. Okay, and I'm pushing it down in there. And then I'm going to just cover it. 
a little. All right, now, we're gonna get some milk. Okay, so I'm gonna pour about a half a cup of milk in the cup. And I'm going to just pour the milk right on the top, like so. Then I'm going to take my spoon and just put holes in it so it drops down. It's going to make that nice and creamy. That was uh, the milk I didn't show you. This is organic 2% reduced milk. Okay, now I'm going to put the balance of the cheese I have. Let me show you this. Okay, that's after the milk. Now I'm going to put the balance of the cheese on the top. Spread it around so you're covering all the rotini. This is why I saved out a little bit of the mac of the uh, cheese. Okay, now I want to sprinkle just a little paprika for color on the top. Just a little. Okay, alright, so I'm going to put this in the oven on 400 degrees until the cheese is brown on the top. And I'll show you what that looks like when it comes out. Great. We'll be back. Okay, our macaroni, our rotini macaroni and cheese is out. I'm going to plate this up. I'm going to put it on a plate. And I'm going to taste. One second. Okay, let me take a taste. Creamy, delicious. Look at that. I want you to see the inside. How about that, huh? Oh, it's so good, guys. Nice and creamy and cheesy. Mmm. Thumbs up on that one. Okay. Talk to you on the next one. Subscribe. Thank you.